Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this rollout is so cooked at this point. We've not had a single statement from Kanye himself regarding the album, multiple release dates have came and went, and now our last resort for inside information is trolling on Instagram with cryptic comments. As I'm sure a lot of you are aware, shit has gone downhill for this Vulture's rollout. I feel like really since the rumored everybody drop, the general vibe from Kanye's team has been just not optimistic about completing the project except for one man. As of right now, the only member of the Yeezy team talking to fans is Malik Youssef, whose favorite hobby is trolling people in his Instagram comments when he's not helping Kanye finish the album. It's crazy that our sources have just fallen so far in quality and just directness this late into the rollout. Some recent information from Joy Boy reveals that it seems Kanye made a lot of people sign NDAs, including quote, everyone involved in sponsoring, which is why figures like Yes Jules have been suspiciously quiet about vultures when before they were very vocal. It's important to note here that because St. Leon is not a native English speaker, by sponsoring he probably means promo, which would involve prominent Twitter pages like Yeezy Mafia, for example. In the past few days, Malik has made some wild claims on Instagram with some very admirable confidence. When asked if he thought we could get a single soon, he simply responded with yep. When asked if he was confident the album would be dropping in the next seven days, he once again kept his response short and painstakingly void of details. And finally, when asked if we should forget about the album until next week, Malik said next week is a much more probable timeline. All of this is to essentially support his claim that the Forbes article claiming indefinite postponement was somehow false and that January 12th is the current planned drop date. I also have to admit it's weird that Joy Boy said everyone signed NDAs but Malik is out here just saucing information left and right, albeit they are ridiculous claims but still I feel like that could violate an NDA, which means Kanye maybe didn't have him sign one, which would be kind of weird if Malik is as involved with the album as he claims he is. I don't really know about that, it just seems sus but I'm not sure why exactly. The way that Malik so effortlessly trolls and makes insane claims despite his track record being terrible deserves admiration in my opinion. Like how did we get to the point where this is how we are getting information about an album that has already missed multiple release dates? Regardless, I feel any day now Kanye could break his silence and we will be so back once again. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and let me know down in the comments if you think Malik is trustworthy.